Uh, myself, Billy and Sandy, you've get, we've given our selections for the big races, so we'll give you our best handicap bets of the festival. But Tracksuit Day, this is his first time on the show, and we'd be obliged to, if we could have your best selections, well, whether they're handicaps or whether they're for, for the festival entirety. Right, well, well, for the, the Supreme Tom, I'm on at sevens, and I've had quite a big bet each way. I'm on Irving. Yeah. I think the horse is a machine. And you've got that at sevens? I'm on at sevens. I think this horse is a machine. And, and, and what they've all been crying out of... Um, Ditch it is that it'd be better on better ground. Well, I've doubled it up with La Roche in the Triumph Hurdle yeah. at Sevens. Might want softer though. Yeah, I, 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 this this has got the best form though in the Triumph, a without agreed, a doubt. Agreed, yeah, yeah. That, without a doubt. So I, I'm on Irving each way. Um, in the Triumph, I've doubled it up with La Roche each yeah. way at Sevens. The sorry, champion, Dave, sorry, sorry to interrupt, are you, are you concerned about Irvine having no course form? No, I'm not concerned. One little bit. The class will bring it through. And if it is better ground, which it looks like it will All right, be. so we've got Irving. Yeah, sorry, go uh, on. No, no, go on. Continue with you. Select. Right. What we'll do is we'll just clarify our children. OK. I've got Irving for the champion hurdle. I've always liked the new one. Yeah. He would have beat my tent or yours if he hadn't clouded it at Christmas. Uh, and then I've, I've gone in the champion chase. I'd love to see um, Gary Moore's horse win. I'd love it for them. But I'm on Captain Conan each way. All right. Because, you know, in an age of two, two and a half mile, he don't get, yeah. he's got a hell of a lot of speed, and I could see him, they may have just been getting him ready for this. Yeah, and as the ground dries up, it yeah. might just swing in his favour. Billy, I'll, I'll come to you now, just for your mm. um, handicap selections, Billy's big ones, Billy's handicap selections of Cheltenham far away. Yep. OK, we like, uh, we like Close House in the rewards for racing, the nicest handicap chase on the Tuesday. Um, we've spoken about him. Big fan of Open Day in the Pertemps final, if he lines up for that race, I'm hoping he will. Uh, got Colour Squadron in the Burn Group plate. Really can't see him not running well if he um, if he uh, jumps well enough, and I'm hoping he will. And I like, like Crispy Green in the Marty Pipe. We've not spoken about. Uh, saw him get beat at Fontwell. I can't believe how he didn't win. To be honest, um, he's got. I think he'll run in the Marty Pipe so that Joshua Moore can ride him claim three pounds. So he'd be a bit of an outsider. Give him a squeak as well. That's that's my handicap. Cheers, Billy. Um, I mean, the amount of times you've said crispy green, you know, if I crispy count them green. on my fingers, I don't know where I'd be up to. Um, <laughs> but Sandy, very quickly, mate, I'm going to have to ask you very quickly for these to rattle through what your handicap selections are, please. Yeah, that's not a problem because we've touched on them all already. So uh, on the Tuesday, <laughs> <Can't> cheer up. <laughs> on. <laughs> on the Tuesday, we've got Hadrian's approach. As I said, twelve to one, non-runner, no bet. I won't go off bigger than six to one. It's literally a free bet for yourself. So. I am concerned about his jumping, but free bet, as I said. Um, on the Wednesday in the Coral Cup is Wahib. I think it, I've got 30 frees, it's down to 20. I think it will go off shorter as well. Um, in the, on Thursday, Utopia de Bulls in the Per Temps, and then hopefully Carrot Coke run in the Grand Annual. Excellent. Well, that was um, quick for you, Tom. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was right to the point. Um, I'll give you now all of you loyal followers of uh, Tommy Tips at home. I don't know whether there's many of you, um, but uh, I'll, I'll kick it off on the Tuesday, five fifteen. Horse called Boother Lazy. Uh, I think Ferguson's got a great chance to have a Cheltenham winner this year, and lovely horse on the flat. It's got to be Boother Lazy. Uh, Wednesday, four forty. Goodwood Mirage. Stop shaking your head, please, Billy Blakeman. Uh, Goodwood <laughs> Mirage is one that you, you may well want to back there. Skip all the way to Friday. Mont Bazon, he's as big as 33 or 40 to 1 at the moment. Alan King is in fine form. This one was pulled up last time, but I'm one of my favourites, Splash of Ginge. Um, and I think he's been uh, been rested for a lovely big race in the 205 on the Friday, so Mont Bazon for me. Lastly, I did say Tedville. I'd love to see him run. If, it, if he does run in this, he will win it. I've heard big noises uh, coming out of that stable, and it's Tedville for me in the 515 if he goes there. Um, Billy, you're breaking news. Mm. I've just been told uh, by Luke Elder uh, that Chris P. Green isn't going to Cheltenham. I don't know whether this is solid news or, or just a little sort of bit no, of a guessing that, game, but that is that a bit right. of a disappointment then? Not really. I haven't, I haven't put a penny on anti pace. I'll just cross that one out. Don't, <laughs> don't back that. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that.